But the devil will try to condemn you. The devil will try to put shame on you and block your mercy. God's sending it out. God's trying to help, but the devil will block it. But in the name of Jesus, I declare, you're not going to let the enemy block your mercy, but you are going to receive the mercy of Almighty God. <laughs> Number three. Can I keep going? I got, how many will give me five more minutes and 41 seconds? This is a prophetic word now, and this is, I want you to receive it, and we're going to declare this over you. And the worship team can make their way back up. Say, with, say this with me. Grace, Grace. And, mercy and mercy is God's help. Mercy is God's compassion. It's his love in action. And grace is God's free gift. His favor. His unearned, undeserved blessing, ability, opportunity, wisdom, joy, and strength from God. I'm going to say this over you now. Freedom, we have entered into and are entering into a season of supernatural favor where the people of God are going to be overtaken by the blessings of heaven. For the Lord God gives you favor. Psalms 102.13 You will arise and have compassion on Zion, for it is time to show favor to her, for the appointed time to show favor to her has come. And God says in Amos 9.13, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when the plowman shall overtake the one who gathers in the harvest. So Pastor, what do you mean? Somebody say this with me out loud, overtaken. overtaken. Now, the, 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 the harvester comes in when? At the end of the crop cycle. So if you know anything about farming, you get to, if you're going to be a good farmer, the first thing you have to do is prepare the soil. Then you bring the plowman in. And the plowman prepare the soil get it ready, and then from the plowman, then the seeders come, and they plant the seed. Then you have irrigation, and the water comes through, and then you water, and then you let Mother Nature do its job. Then the seed dies, goes into the ground, roots, and then sprouts up, sprouts up, sprouts up. Then there comes a time in the year where it's now harvest time. It's time to reap the crop you worked so hard for. And the Bible says that a time is coming when the plowman shall overtake the person that's reaping. So you're sitting there reaping what you sowed. You're, this is the exciting time. This is the fun time. You're, you're reaping. And as you're reaping, the guy behind you is saying, hurry up. For what? I'm barely harvesting. Yeah, but you've gone on a supernatural timetable now where the, come on, where the plowman is overtaking the harvester. Somebody ought to shout like that's what's happening. Now you got, oh Lord. Then it goes on to say, and the one who treads the grapes shall overtake, say, overtake him who sows the seeds. For harvest continues until planting time. Now watch me say this. How many of you have ever seen I Love Lucy shows? You remember that one famous show where she's in the grape... Yeah, see? Okay. She's, that's, what, that's what this is. She, this is talking about the treader of the grapes. So when do you tread the grapes? It's when you plow the dirt, put the seed, the, the, the trees grow, the vines produce, the harvesters come in, they take the vines. Then from there, you take those vines and you put them in that big old thing Lucy had and you squish them and you make wine and grape juice. That's what that is. And the Bible says that the time's going to come where the, the plowman is going to overtake the one who sows the seed. 
So where you're still gathering in the prosperity from the last harvest, you're like, oh my God, I sowed for this. I believed. I sowed for a company. I sowed for a house. I sowed for my family. I sowed and like I'm harvesting. And as you're harvesting, God said, I'm, I'm coming right behind you because another harvest is coming. It, oh. Somebody say supernatural favor. Come on, somebody say supernatural favor. It's coming after me. And everything that was once barren will overflow with streams of blessing. That means everything that was barren, God says it's going to overflow with blessing. Yes, Lord. God says, you went and you looked, you believed, you sowed, you trusted, and you looked and it was still barren. God says, go look again. Go look again. Like Elijah told the young servant when he says rain is coming and he went and he said, I looked Elijah and there was no rain. He said, go again and he went again. No rain, go again. And he went again and again and again. And on the seventh time, the young man said, oh my, there's a cloud the size of a man's hand. And God is saying to somebody in this season, you need to go look again because I'm about to hit you and overtake you with the supernatural grace and favor of Almighty God. If you believe it, give God a shout like you will be overtaken. Your harvest, Leviticus 26.10. I sent this word to all the leaders on yesterday, but this was not just for the leaders. This is for you. Your harvest your harvest will be so plentiful that they will last for an entire year. So God says one harvest that comes is going to pay your bills for an entire year. This is interesting. There's more bondage in this room than there was in the 10 o'clock service. Because when I preach this at the 10 o'clock service, they got excited because their bondage didn't live what God wanted to do. But because you have so much bondage and so much Egypt, God is saying, I'm going to do a miracle, but you're trying to figure out how. This ain't how, baby. This is supernatural. You ain't ready for this. Somebody ought to shout like God can do it in a moment. It's okay, though. I'm going to say it anyway because there's somebody here that's not going to allow your bondage and your insecurity and your intimidation and your fear and your anxiety to block the supernatural favor of somebody. God would not help me preach it unless there's somebody here ready to receive it. If that's you, give them a shout of victory. You go. And even, and even say your harvest will be so plentiful, say so plentiful. Tell your neighbor, your harvest, what you sold for, will be so plentiful, it's gonna last for a whole year. One transaction. I believe, I receive, supernatural favor. I, I, I see it. Some of you, it's gonna. It, I thank you, hold it there. You, you, you're gonna go like this. It's gonna be a check, and you're gonna do one tra one transaction, and they're gonna go a check like that. You're gonna get the check, and they're gonna give you the check, and you're gonna look at the check, and and you're gonna say, "Come on, somebody!" Your harvest will be so plentiful that it's going to last for the whole year. Forget, forget about your neighbor. They don't believe it. It, it. it might not be for them. I said it might not be for your neighbor. Forget about your neighbor. I 
believe it. I receive it. It's my time. Stupid blessing. Preaching to the whole Europe. You're not ready for this. Slap somebody, say, are you right? Do you understand? Do you understand? I gotta go. I said, I, I, I'm gonna drop this off, I gotta go. We got two o'clock service, Spanish service, so it's called Freedom in Espanol, so. But I'm gonna leave this with you. Tell your neighbor your harvest will be so plentiful that your harvest will last, will pay your bills for an entire year. Who am I talking to? Who am I talking to? Who am I? I'm talking to somebody, I feel it. Try it again. You better bring that check to me. I want to see it. I want to see it. I want to give God the glory. I want to see it. Let me let me explain to you real quick. Let me explain to you what just happened to me in my office. One of the young ladies came to me right now. Been here for years. She's like, Pastor, Pastor, the Lord put on my heart to go back to school for my, get my master's degree. So I, I applied for USC and they accepted me. I said, that's, that's, that's a good chunk. 60,000, so, you know, plus interest. So you got about 85,000. <laughs> if you pay it on time. She's like, yeah. And they accepted me. But Pastor, this week, my job said they're gonna send me to school for that executive position and pay the whole thing. And it, instead of it taking two years, it's gonna take two weeks. Slap somebody in the head and tell them, wake up, you serve the God of miracles. Somebody shout! Somebody shout!